so so you get a good good grade mm-hmm. uh we're leaving comp- uh, we're leaving uh high school yes and then um so where does it land you yes so yeah so in terms of that uh while i was in high school yeah I still wanted to write. Yeah. I I knew in fact everyone who knew me knew Sheila was going to become a journalist. Yeah. I would write I would actually write novels. Hmm. I would write books mm-hmm. not from just high school but from primary school. Mm. Every holiday I would sit down and write a mm. book mm. because I was also reading a lot. Mm. I read you know from those times of those books would read when we, we used to start with what Secret 7, Seven then Famous Five, yeah. then Nancy Drew, mm. then Sweet Dreams with mm. Bali High, Mills mm. and Boons, mm. then Sydney Sheldon's, mm. Jackie Collins, Daniel Stills, Robert yeah. Ludlam, John Grisham. Yeah. I read all That's those, really all nice. those books. Mm. <laughs> In fact, I still read them. I still mm. go back mm. just to remind myself what mm. I read mm. those 30 years ago. Mm. So because I was reading so much, mm. I, I developed like, well, I, I also want to write. Mm. I want to also just put my imagination mm. into word and start writing. So I would write novels mm. and at the beginning of the time, and people would come to me Sheila which book did you write which book did you release over mm. the holiday and I'd mm. give them my handwritten <laughs> mm. Mm. my handwritten book so mm. I knew I was going to be a writer mm. Mm. and I knew that probably then a career with journalism mm. in journalism made sense mm-hmm. um from an early age I was also into news mm-hmm. current affairs mm-hmm. I loved news so much right I mean from the time I was in class 1 I'd read all the three papers mm. Kenya Times Nation mm. Mm. and standard my dad would come mm. with them from the office every mm. day mm. so I would read them back to back wow I knew if you wanted to know who was the president of which can I knew them yeah. <laughs> at yeah. very early age yeah. Yeah. so I knew that I wanted a career maybe in the in the news industry because yeah. I was interested I was into current affairs yeah. I was into yeah I was into civic you know when you exactly. do his GHC civic education I was into that yeah. but yeah so I, would, I was interested in you know reporting mm. on that mm. So uh all through high school I was working towards mm-hmm. that continuing into you mm. know my my writing mm. and uh but then at one point I became very much into uh, I was doing history and government mm-hmm. and I got so much interested in the civic education government mm. aspect you mm. know things around mm. that mm. Eh? Mm. and um I thought and then there would, there would be this uh, it was those days of uh around 97 98 I remember with the 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 young nyongos were big mm, kirai mm, tumurungi you know mm, this high flying lawyers the mm, young tax mm, you know mm, now mm. you know now uh, uh, and part of the second liberation yeah. and many of them were lawyers and yeah. political scientists yeah. hey and then i decided ah i'm going to become a political scientist <laughs> because i was into you know government yeah, yeah. and all the how does it work you yeah. know Uh, I wasn't calling it governance then. Yeah, I think yeah. the word governance I only knew it later. Much but then later. I used to just call it me I want to be a political scientist. Mm. And my dad one day asked me, mm. "You mean I'm going to school my child <laughs> and take you to university to study political science? Mm. And then what will you do after that?" And I said, "I'm going to be an analyst. I'm going to analyze what's happening mm. like they, this guy is doing on TV." Mm. And he said, "No way. In fact, he my dad was a very empowering father." Mm. and he he never act, once told us no you are going to do this you're going to do this but on that one he told me ah uh-uh, that one Mm-mm. no you will not go to university to read that mm. <laughs> so i shelved that a little bit mm. and i said okay then maybe i can do law mm. maybe mm. if i don't do journalism maybe i can do law and in those days you'd find them um, if you go back to the tr- veteran journalists mm-hmm. very few of them went actually went to to no no to jump to to to, to, to study journalism as their first degree mm. you find that they maybe they maybe had another first degree yeah. like economics mm. sociology mm. education there are a lot of educationists mm. and then they would go back maybe to the school of journalism or okay, KMC and do mm. a, a, di- a diploma or a post grad in as an additional so mm. first and foremost they had other disciplines and they were very strong journalists mm. because they had an understanding of they had another background mm. So I thought maybe that's what I should do mm. instead of going straight on to study journalism mm. why don't I study something else mm. and I can continue with my writing mm. so mm. at some point I became obsessed with law mm. and I thought and and also my parents thought that you're doing well in school mm. maybe you can actually get called to mm. one of these top mm. you know one of these top courses since you're not into sciences mm. Oh definitely medicine was out of the cards mm-hmm. <laughs> and 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 so and engineering I was on into all, all those things so I said the other top course is law mm-hmm. so if you pass mm-hmm. yeah which is likely mm-hmm. you can go do law mm-hmm. so I got convinced and actually when we were doing my That's university right. my university choices mm-hmm. I just chose law uh, law my university mm-hmm. law Nairobi university and then the other two I chose okay I think the last one I chose a BA in in a University of Nairobi then University of Nairobi was a big thing mm-hmm. and and then uh, uh, i think a ba somewhere else mm. so i sat for the exams unfortunately i didn't get the marks to to do law mm. Mm. and 
and uh, at some point we thought, okay, maybe let's go to a private university. But mm -hmm. then I said, no, it's okay. I'll just wait to mm -hmm. get called for whatever I'm called for. Mm -hmm. I revised my 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 um, my courses. You know, they, they you have this another opportunity to revise after your yeah. your uh, revise your 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 courses after your your marks have come your your results have come out. Yeah. So for that one, I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna go do something general. We didn't have much journalism then. In fact, the mm -hmm. only Uni the only university then that was offering something close to journalism mm. was Moy University. Mm. I think it was something to do with information studies. Mm. Yes. And uh, I so I decided I'm just going to do, I want to study in Nairobi. Mm. So I just chose Bachelor of Arts, University of Nairobi, Bachelor of Arts, Kenyatta University. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. it. Mm. So I, I only wanted those two options. Mm. And then I would now choose which 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 courses mm. within, mm. within the Faculty of Arts I would take. Mm. So somewhere along the line, uh, my mom, convinced me that I should actually go to Kenyatta University, apply for Kenyatta University as my first choice, mm. because Kenyatta University had a summer program where you could actually finish your undergrad in two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And so she thought instead of waiting four years, and University of Nairobi, many of our people would, you know, Strike. yeah, okay, there were those, those strikes those days, but you'd find that maybe some people are taking four years, five mm -hmm. years, and KU was very regimented. You'd probably just take at most three years if you take the summer, if you learn during the holidays. Yeah. So I, I, I selected Kenyatta University mm. uh, and I was called for to Kenyatta University. So I go to KU. Of course now when you register now when you when you when you when you are registering as a first year mm. for, for general degrees like BA or B ed, mm. at that point is when you select your courses. Yeah. So for me I had thought of well, economics looked so fancy then. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and my dad had uh, had, a, had a background with econo eco economics and commerce. Mm. So I thought, yeah, and I'd seen some of his university, I mean, his postgraduate and and uh, and then when he was an undergrad, uh, some of his notes, I thought, hmm, this looks nice. Mm. Yeah, and, and uh, then one thing I was sure of was also sociology mm. because I, I also had fancied, mm. you know, a bit of the development you know, social work-ish. Yeah. Mm. So I thought, I can do sociology, I can do economics. Econ, maybe I can be a business writer or something. You know, I was thinking, I was still thinking in terms of writing. Mm. And then um, and then literature, because mm. I loved reading. Mm. Literature was just for the fun of it, because I love yeah. books and I'm like, I imagine that we'll just be reading books mm. and analyzing, which is really fast nature for me. Mm. So those were my units, those mm. are the ones I chose. Mm. Uh, when we went to when you go to, when you go to register mm -hmm. they give you the course outline yeah. hey i saw the courses that we were supposed to do for economics from first year to fourth year yeah, like, not me. <laughs> i said not me <laughs> at this point i wouldn't see the other side of campus <laughs> and i was really keen of i mean i had so many friends who'd gone through ku yeah. ku was big on on drama and music yeah. and culture you week and i was like I, I want the experience. whole experience yeah. i'm like this one i'll just be spending time in the library no yeah. no no yeah. I actually went back, cancelled. Before I left that uh, graduation square where we were registering, yeah. I cancelled, I removed economics. Yeah. I went and chose Kiswahili because I was also very good in Kiswahili. What? Yes. So I said, I'm going to do Kiswahili, uh, English literature, and sociology. Wow. And Kiswahili also because I thought, mm, I can actually even become a Kiswahili writer if, I'm, if I mm. keep this up. Mm. So yeah, those are the courses I, I registered for. Mm. So... We do the orientation and then the first week of class. My first lesson on a Monday was the introduction to Kiswahili. And then the next class was Siju Historia ya Kiswahili and some other conch words in Kiswahili I can't remember. Wow. I went to that class for one hour. Actually, the, the lecturer was a very, is a very good friend of mine right now. He's also in the development sector right now. Mm -hmm. Professor Kimani Njogu. And I always tell him, you know, I attended one class of yours mm -hmm. <laughs> as a first year. After that class, I went straight to the Faculty of Arts and deregistered myself from, from Kiswahili. Kiswahili. <laughs> right, it was just a <laughs> I said, no, this one, again, I will, I will spend too much time reading. I will not see the other side of campus. <laughs> so I went, I deregistered from Kiswahili and chose English. Okay. So, because I was ready to doing English literature. So now yeah. I wanted to do English as a, as a, as a language. Yeah, yeah. As a language yeah. yeah, because now I'm like, okay, now let's just focus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do unit uh, courses that are going to shape me as a writer and as a journalist. So when I come out, I can do my postgraduate, mm -hmm. but I'll be ready for it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I did, I did English, mm -hmm. um, English, li English literature and sociology. and sociology, and they didn't disappoint me. Mm -hmm. I did very well, but at the, at the end of the second year, you're supposed to just, be, you, you can either just focus on one, mm -hmm or focus on two, but you have to sh for sure drop one. So I dropped English, mm. and then I continued on with English literature. Again, because for literature, I was doing a lot of, I was taking a lot of units on writing, mm. 
There's a lot of uh, units on creative writing, so mm -hmm. I'll do that every year, mm -hmm. and theater arts. Mm -hmm. I was also very much interested in, in theater and drama, mm -hmm. and I'd actually won, I, I'd written a winning play at some point mm -hmm. when I was in high school, mm -hmm. so I thought I would be a playwright. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I thought I'd continue with, you know, be still becoming a playwright. So I, I was really interested in the plays and the dramas uh, units when I was doing literature. So I, I, yeah, those were my focus areas. And then, of course, sociology. Sociology, I always said, one day, one day, maybe I'll, when I'm retiring, I'll go work for an NGO. Maybe I'll do some social work. So let me just do it for later. Yeah. The, the literature and the English were more for now because I knew I was going to do writing yeah. and journalism. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I continued with my, in terms of my academics. Yeah.